Hello, hello, Internet, and welcome to a new vlog from my humble self, Pike. Um, why am I doing this? Well, unbelievable, I've got 200 subscribers. So, wow, how did that happen? I, I just I just made a video just recently about having 100 subscribers. It was uh, about exactly a year ago, I think, because it's Christmas time again, because I, I do remember I mentioned um, that you have to combine good whiskey with good chocolate, and um, hold on a second, mm. good chocolate yet again, and this is a new one, so it has to have been a year ago, about, about, so, yes. Wonderful, 200 subscribers, unbelievable. I, I, I checked um, yesterday and I was going like, oh my god, it's 204, how did that happen? And this morning was 205, so actually this video is too late, but all right. 200 subscribers, thank you, wonderful. Um, all righty then. Um, what was I going to talk about? Yes, what's going on um, in the little bike world? Well, um... Severe news, tragic news, as you've probably heard. Um, the skeletal crew has failed. And of course, I take full responsibility. I am the coach, after all, so I, I blew it. Problem is, if you play a team like that, uh, full of expendable skeletons, which are actually just supposed to be the salt in the soup, and not all of the dinner then naturally you'll have to do, take lots of risks, which I did. And for 17 games, I was lucky I actually pulled it off. So the 18th game was kind of a turnaround where things did not work. All those risks just didn't pay off. I just rolled loads of ones, so yeah. But that's the way it happens. All right, so no more skeletal crew, I'm afraid. So we're playing the Norse, we're playing the Camry. And um, maybe you have suggestions on what to do next, because um, I'm not entirely sure. Um, I was really focused on finishing Norse now. We're going to play the Blood Bowl. We're going to win the Blood Bowl. And then, um, yeah, then I'm going to do the same with Camry, and then that's that. So what should be the next team I'm, I'm 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 going to coach what is it going to be I'm, I'm not entirely sure um so suggestions i'm i'm keen on yeah other news i shaved uh if you compared to the last video yes i did um i usually do that about once every five years or so so yeah <laughs> happens um what else oh yes um as you all know, I still got this um, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines Let's Play on uh, hiatus. Um, I'm, I'm, I, I hate this. Um, I, I, I stopped doing it because I got three copyright notices because there are actually original songs in there. And seemingly the record companies do not like that. Um, I think I got six or seven. So I wrote to all these companies saying, like, what's going on? The, the songs are in the soundtrack. And I got rid of four copyright notices, but three of them were just kept up there. And these record companies either didn't respond or said, no, we're not going to change this. It's our song. So I've been thinking on what to do. I could, of course... Um, edit the songs out, but I don't have the original videos anymore, so I would have to do it with the YouTube software thingy. Yeah, I'm not too keen on that. Um, but I decided I'm going to continue this Let's Play. I'm just going to tolerate these three copyright notices on these three videos, and uh, whenever I go into a bar or some other place within the game where I know there's music, I'm just going to turn down uh, the volume, so yeah, so that's going to be that. I'm going to continue and I'm going to finish Masquerade Bloodlines, uh, especially because I really wanted to prove to a sideways thinker that this game can be played as a gunman, so yeah, here we go. All right, um, anything else? 
Um, yeah, I'm, I'm currently playing um, Oblivion, as you all know. I'm going to continue to do that. It's going to be a thousand videos, I guess, until I'm anywhere near the end. I haven't even started the main quest. Um, yeah, I'm continue. I'm, I'm going to continue to play Skyrim. I know it's kind of a bi-weekly report. It should be weekly, but I just... I don't have that much time. Sorry. Um, what else? Um... Yes, I'm going to continue playing Blood Bowl. I'm I'm really I'm really kind of ashamed about the Magic the Gathering 2013 thing, but I got stuck in that let's play and now I don't know how to continue without messing it up, but I I should have another go at it. Um yeah. Then of course I I fixed the thief problem, so I'm going to continue let's playing the latest thief game. Though I haven't had that much fun with it to begin with, but um, I started it, so I'm going to try to continue. Um, yeah, other than that, I started a, a hilarious co-op with uh, Variax, uh, Ratbird Champion, and uh, Malarkey, who's from Canada. Uh, Ratbird is from the US, and Variax, of course, is from Yorkshire, so we are a very mixed bunch. Still haven't... Uh, I haven't been able to actually uh, uh, make them believe my German accent. I don't know why. I, I think it is so convincing, isn't it? But seemingly not. All right. Um, apart from that, whiskey. Um, got some special news, and this is, uh, of course, since it's a, it's a sub whiskey. Uh, has to be a sub whiskey because this is a 200 subscription video. So this is a special whiskey I've got here. Um. As you all know, whiskey is made of, um, ooh, ooh, ooh. whiskey is made of, um, well, it has different ingredients, but um, usually they use uh, corn or uh, wheat um, to make whiskey. Um, in the olden days, long time ago, they also used to use oats. However, that was kind of dangerous because oats, uh, if you mix it with water, become mushy and sticky. So it could essentially clog your distillery pipes, which would result in kaboom <laughs> if you're not careful and that would end your uh, career as a distiller so yeah people were kind of upset about this option so oats wasn't the, the favorite so as soon as they got their hands on other on other uh, possible ingredients they stopped using oats now i've always been a um fan of oats i like to eat them i like to take a bath in them if i can um it just smells good it tastes good it's it's interesting and i like sticky and mushy so i came up with the idea come on there's got to be a distillery left that is still using oats and lo and behold i found one in germany can you believe that uh it's called derina D-E-R-R-I-N-A. Uh, you can Google and you will find their website. And they do uh, small batch whiskies. One of them is this one. And it's called Derina Hafer. Hafer being the German word for oats. So um, I've bought this about nine or ten months ago. And it's been in my cupboard ever since. So... We're going to try it now and see if uh, oat whiskey is really as good as people say it is. It smells different. You can smell the oaty essence in it. Wow, it smells really good. But different. Right, here goes. Um, definitely different. Whew. Um, lots of spirit in it. 
It's 43% alcohol. Not bad. This really kicks. The nose is very, very interesting. You you get oats, you get wood, you get a little bit of fruit. The taste at first is kind of shallow, I must say. You begin to have a notion of, oh, that's disappointing. But then it comes washing up again, and that really kicks in. Not bad. Dare say it could be improved, but it's worth the... Uh, the experience, and it, it wasn't it wasn't expensive. I think it was fifteen euros. Well, it's a very small bottle, fifteen or even less. So yeah, try it. Some oat whiskey. So to all the people out there who say no, 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 there is no such thing as oat whiskey. There still is. There are few enthusiasts. I found another one in Austria, by the way, but that was too expensive for my purse. Sorry. Which is a stupid expression because I never had a purse. I'm using wallets, actually. <laughs> My wife has a purse. Yeah. Not bad. Um, reminds me a little bit of Vegemite or Surströmming. Where the first taste is uh, kind of tough on the palate, but afterwards you go like... Hey, hey, why did my brain just say this is yuck? This tastes awesome. And then you have another bite and go, like, oh, it's still yuck. Oh, no, here comes the good taste again. <laughs> well, nothing beats Sorströmming in that experience. Um, in case you don't know what that is, it is fermented fish that is kept in a can for... I think it has to be in there for nine months. Then you have to open it in a bucket of water, mind you. Don't open it just anywhere because it's just basically going to blow up in your face. Um, yeah, and then you put it on bread and eat it. And it actually tastes extremely good, but most people would disagree on that, I dare say. Except Norwegians, because it's a Norwegian dish. And I really like Norwegian cuisine. They have great stuff. But hey. All right, um, I hope you keep enjoying my videos. I hope I can do another one in a year next Christmas. Um, chocolate, you know. Um, can't eat that yet because it's it says after eight. And it's not. It's not. It's not. Not after eight. So, yeah. I have to wait for a few more hours. But, hey, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're enjoying all of my videos. I'm, I'm not doing complicated videos on math or music or atheism or any of the such thought, um, although I could, but I decided I'm, I'm going to have fun on this channel, so it's going to be about games and whiskey, and if I ever decide to do a channel on anything else, I'm, I'm probably going to do a new channel, I'm not going to mix it up totally. Um, there's been lots of people asking me, like, why don't you do a video on, on religion or on on logical thinking or stuff like that because I'm I'm keen on that I'm politics um, logics math um, but that's just not Pike Vaffer's channel I mean I do games and I do audiobooks uh, got to do another one sooner or later I know you're waiting sorry um, yeah Sherlock Holmes, I just got a nice present, a book from uh, Poe, so maybe I'll do a story from Poe, because they're no longer copyrighted as well. <laughs> uh, I was doing, or actually I, I did one on um, H.P. Lovecraft, but afterwards I read that it might still be under copyright, because there's sort of a dubious, not sure jurisdictional discussion, debate going on about whether or not some of his stories might still be copyrighted by someone who claimed he has inherited or bought the rights. So I'm not so sure about that. But hey, I'm, I'm just going to go on and see where it leads me. All right. Bye-bye. Pike is signing off. Chocolate.